Hello guys, welcome to part 3 YouTube. This is going to be great. Fallout New Vegas, we're back. I say all that because last time was a bit of a train wreck. As in... I thought I was recording my audio last time, turns out I wasn't. So, you know, I just... I put that part out there, record it as it is, I'm like, hey, go and watch that, guys. It, it's still a pretty good one. If you haven't watched already, but for those of you who have watched it, who've been here since the start of the series, welcome back. Nerdy, li I'm the nerdy librarian, and well, once again, you know, we're gonna be jumping into the wasteland here. But before we do that, something I tried to do last time, but kind of failed at, with the audio being problematic, was looking at the comment section on the the first video of this series, which, to my complete and utter surprise, has been doing extremely well on the channel. I, I don't even know how that happened. People must like Fallout New Vegas. I wonder if it's tied to the Fallout TV show or anything like that. You know, honestly, Fallout New Vegas is just a fun time, and with a name like Shenanigans, it has to be crazy. But, here we go. So, first off, I want to say thank you to Power Cato for the suggestions concerning you know, saving with information that it crashes a little bit, and uh, holding F for free cam and tab for pit boy flashlight, holding R to unequip weapon to run faster. I so I tested that stuff out last part, and it, you know what? It works like a charm. So thank you for that. Uh, Damien Gal, Damien Galdemez, if I could pronounce it correctly. I'm sub 107. I like that lucky seven. Yeah. I like that Lucky 7 too, but when it comes to Fallout New Vegas, I like that Lucky 38 just a little bit more. But you know what? You've got a great spot. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, Jason Monroe, 5415. I'm glad the algorithm showed you this, uh, showed you the first video of this series, Fallout New Vegas. I mean, yeah, it's mysterious how it works sometimes. Glad it worked out. Garrett585, thank you for subscribing and liking. You know, hey, pick Fallout, pick Fallout New Vegas up again, my guy. It's a fun game. You won't be disappointed. And then, last but not least, a regular gamer one. Thank you for your comment here. I will do what I can to get as much dialogue done as possible in this. I can't make any promises that I'm going to get at all. I mean, I don't want to make a promise I can't keep, but at the same time, you know, Fallout New Vegas, it does have great, great dialogue. A lot of characterization, a lot of nuance. So, you know, enough just sitting around talking. Let's jump back into this madness that is the wasteland. So, pick it up from where we left off last time. Uh, well, we were going to find a supposed new sheriff in a prison overrun by powder gangers and I may or may not have gotten myself blown up again and if you watched the last episode which if you haven't I suggest going back and watching that I, I put several uh, timestamps in the description section on that one that I think you guys will really really enjoy um, I don't want to say too much more than that. That would be spoilers for what happened. It was just funny. Let's see here. So, yeah, that's uh, not great. I hate to have to use my stim packs, but at the same time, it was necessary. That that was a necessary evil. Apparently, uh. They threw some dynamite last time, and it didn't go well. <laughs> Speaking of dynamite, yeah. Go back and watch the second part. That's a part you definitely don't want to miss. Let's see here. Ah, yeah, Sunset Sarsaparilla. There we go. Oh, and I, keep, I keep going in my menu a lot. I want, some, I want something with uh, that I can aim down sights on, but... Granted, it doesn't have great range. Wish it did. Okay.
Well, that looks like a prison to me. Which means it's gonna be dangerous, right? Yeah. Powder ganger right there. Powder ganger there. More in the yard. Let's see. And the way into the place is right down there, I believe. Doesn't look like all of it's rendered in yet, so. Have to take this one carefully. Okay, it looks like he's holding a varmint rifle, so. I mean, if any of them have good drops, I I mean, I feel like I, I feel like this would be the sort of place where if one of them has, say, a plasma rifle or something, that would just be fantastic. But, you know, I, I'm not expecting to get that lucky. And I'm certainly not begging for it either. That I don't want to come across as needy. Also, I've learned my lesson from last time. I need to be watching out for landmines. Although, if, if I remember correctly, this place doesn't have landmines as badly. Okay. Oh, that music is fantastic. I've been breaking into prison every day, breaking in. Okay, let's get back. Ow, hey, you, you jerk. <laughs> get, get back here. Get back here, you. Okay, we're back to caution. Cause that guy decided to abscond. Oop! Oop, I'm spotted again! Dawes, huh? Ow, ow, ow. Taking some fire here. Oh, ooh, 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 okay. You know what? This hasn't gone wrong for me in the past before at all. Finish this. Got him! Hey, and if anybody knows how to uh, set a favorites menu on this one, I don't exactly remember how to do that. Like, you, you know, instead of having to go into my uh, Pip-Boy every single time to figure out what I want, or to find what I want. That would be great. Thank you very much. And while you're at it, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Yeah. 
Yikes. Hey, Dynamite, always like to see that. Ow, 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 ow. Had enough? No, no, I haven't quite had enough. Here, pump me, pump me a little fuller of lead, please, and thank you. Come on, huh? All right. You asked for it. Dentition gone. Oh, we're so close to a level up. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, I bet Dawes has a key. And a 357 Magnum. There we go, yep. Key and some Psycho. Yeah, 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 there we go. Well, that was a bloody mess. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Out. Had enough. Well, this is uh problematic. Ow. Oh, critical strike. Thank you very much. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, prickly pear fruit. Nice. Oh, oh boy. Yep, keep hitting that trash can, people. Nailed it. Boom! Good, good old-fashioned western shootout. Also, I've had to use way too many healing items. This is not... This is not going as well as I wanted it to. Oh, yes. Okay, level up. Uh, sneak to 30, speech to 30... Guns to 35, and lockpick to 35, sure. And then, oh boy, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll put a point in this, into uh, repair for now. Not that it's going to do much. Confirm Bachelor, no. Hunter, no. Intense Training, I can get another special attribute, which is nice. Uh, Lady Killer, Rapid Reload Retention, no. Swift Learner, two. Even more experience. Cannibal, no. Comprehension, double bonus from reading magazines, and one additional point from skill books. That would be nicer. Educated, two more skill points every time. Every time I advance in level. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that one. And, you know, I, I said last time around, but, you know, my audio equipment wasn't working properly, a.k.a. Uh, hubris. Oh. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? What did you do before you ended up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. 
I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Tell me more about what happened in the prison. I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Who's Cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Where can I find this Cook? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. So with all the breakout business and all of that, why are you still here? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Who's in, who's in charge of this little establishment around here? Who's in charge of the pot of gangers? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Well, I've got an interesting proposition for you. Now you can take it or leave it, but if you want to start making right some of the wrongs of the past, how would you feel about becoming Prince's new sheriff? See, them powder gangers, they really went in there and wreaked havoc. You know? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. Well, as far as I can tell with the wasteland, prisons don't do people much good. Always people willing to break others out. Or break themselves out by whatever means necessary. I think you have yourself a deal. All right then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. None whatsoever. I'm gonna stick around here for a bit. Catch you later. Oh, shut up, Karma System. I mean, the, the karma system does have its place in this game, but at the same time, it's it's a star bottle cap that that's tied to a quest or two. Okay. Oh. Right. Guard towers. Yeah. place is definitely not clear by any stretch of the imagination. Aha. Boom! Okay, I, I need rate of fire. I need rate of fire for this, right? Either that, or we just take a uh, machete in and have some fun. Come on! Powder Ganger bodyguard, huh? A little bit heavier duty. Oh boy, oh no, this is not going well, people. <laughs> alright, alright. Armor condition is extremely, extremely low. Oh no, it's it's the suave gambler hat they're talking about, huh? Ah, you healed yourself up, Hannigan. Take that. Boom. Oh, boy. 
Oh yeah, there goes the suave gambler hat. Oh, oh, my midsection. It stings, it does. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, what? I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Okay, first off, don't follow me. You'll live longer. Based upon the situation, we find ourselves in. Okay, you're a dangerous sort, I get that. But I have some information I think you'll find useful which made me follow you for a spin. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. So, uh, what's so special about these caps that you track me all the way down to some abandoned, well, not abandoned, but prison controlled by a bunch of murderous psychopaths that you'd bust yourself in here after me while I'm still in a fight? I mean, you seen the guy with my shoulder? Come on, what's so special about him, man? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. So you collect these caps too, then I take it. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. What kind of a treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Where can I find more of these caps, friend? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. You mentioned someone named Festus. Who's that? See, I... See the scar on my head here? I, I keep telling people this, but... You know... Ever since Guy in a checkered suit decided to let my brains out for some fresh air, I haven't been quite the same. Don't remember quite as much. Who, who's this Festus character? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. And they weren't the lying type either. Thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. See, uh, this guy over my shoulder, he's been standing there for a while. He really, really wants to hit me. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. See ya, chump. Oh boy, that was uh, that was messy. <laughs> also, that guy's just nuts. Why anyone would follow me into this place, I have no clue. Ooh, nine mil submachine gun. That might be useful. Like a creepy hacker. I'm in. Oh, doctor's bags. You know, it, it, it's like they know you're going to need those if you wander into a place like this. I swear. Yeah. 
Yikes. You know, I really get the feeling the locals don't like me very much around here. Anywho. Yeah, so as I was saying before that whole fiasco happened, I've been... So, I'm not... I'm not encouraging smoking or anything like that, but last part, I was picking up cigarettes and cartons and packets of those things because they sell well in the wasteland. They sell well. Oh, it's so nice that they keep Sunset Sarsaparilla here, you know? Very nice. Okay, I do have... I, I do want to see something here. Uh... That whole karma system. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to find it anytime soon. It's fine. It probably... There, there's probably some way to track it. If you guys know where that's at, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section on that one. Oh, boy. Okay. We have to go back outside, don't we? Yikes. Boy. Ooh, gun case. Baseball bat. Mm, that's actually decent. Oh, 20 energy cells? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's technically stealing, but, you know, these guys... Uh, look, I'm stealing from powder games. Oh, what was the hitbox on that? Ooh, ooh, nice critical. Ow, oh, oh, oh. Plink, plink. Oh, he's taking pot shots at me. Ah. Yeah, I know I'm over encumbered game. Just give me a moment. Also, this music is nuts. Healing materials, nice. Okay, back to a cautionary. Oh, never mind. Nope, we're still. To oh, I see you came down from your tower. Welcome to the party. Wow, missed both of those, huh? I've seen if I could just do something cheeky there, but nope, 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 just... Oh, boy. Ugh. Nope, that was about as cheeky as we were gonna get. Yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Empty, empty bottles. Okay. Well, that was fun, don't you think? Bit nuts. Okay, okay. Well. Oh, I still have another building I need to clear out, don't I? Yikes. Eh, don't need any of that. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright. So... Amidst the lost audio of last episode, by the way, I had a few funny stories that happened to this last weekend. Uh, you, you guys want to hear them? Uh, a lot of it actually had to do with food experiences, I will say.
You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that information after this shindig. Oh, on my close range. Okay, any so anyway, as I was saying, uh some funny things happened this past weekend. A lot of them were food related. So I had probably the best and worst food experiences I've had in my entire life. Well, okay, not you know, my entire life's probably a bit of an exaggeration on that, but you know, they they were on two separate extremes. We'll st we'll start with the we'll start with the good news first. Uh So my fiance and her family. Well, I, I went with them to this uh, Italian restaurant that we have in town, and here I thought, oh, we're just gonna be ordering off the menu, and all of that. You know, it, it's gonna be fine. It's probably gonna be expensive, but it'll it'll taste good, right? We go we go to this Italian restaurant, and it's. And I was not expecting this because it was lunchtime. They actually had. They actually had lunch buffet at an Italian restaurant. The only other place I can think of that you can get unlimited or as much Italian food as you can eat is. Olive Garden, and that's only when they have the unlimited pasta bowl going, right? But I'd argue this was actually almost better than that. And the reason I say that is because, well, I mean, they had spinach ravioli, uh, some manicotti, spaghetti with meat sauce, garlic rolls. They had this thing called Italian fajitas. Oh, it was it was so good. You would like you would not believe, guys. It was so good. It was it was just fantastic. Oh, I can't I can't make any of this, can I? Yeah, I I can't. Oh. I don't have enough science skill for that. Well. Yeah, that was only slightly messy what happened here. Oh, now I'm over carry weight, aren't I? Well, here we go. Ah, uh, Merc Veteran Outfit. Compared to that, now the lightweight leather is It's probably gonna be the best way to go here. What do I drop? No, I can I can sell those, right? I think I have to drop some dynamite. Let's drop uh, five of them. See how that does. Nope, we're still the weight. Like, uh, oh, what was? It? Was that that was for uh, Kung Fu Panda Three, whatever the movie promotion stuff for that was. The weight is over, if I remember correctly. Right. But anyway, that was that was the best food experience. By extreme. The worst one, well, the worst one from this weekend was, so, once again, I was spending time with my fiance and her family, but my parents were there this time around, and, oh gosh, why am I, why am I holding explosives? I don't want to be holding explosives. 
But anyway, we went... We were going to this musical, uh... Oh. Jackals were the attack. Ooh! <laughs> Take that. Oh my gosh! Actually, can I, can I repair my lightweight leather armor with leather armor? But... We were going to this uh, musical in another town. It was Tarzan the Musical. A friend of my fiance's is in it. And, like, okay, this, this ought to be fun. But we needed to stop and get lunch somewhere, right? And, of course, my dad's driving. And he's, he's the sort of person that would rather be dead than late, which I kind of share that mentality. I, I understand that one. But... We finally are like, okay, we'll s if we see a restaurant that we like, we'll j we're just going to stop there and eat there. So that's what we did. Um, and so it ended up being a steak and shake, which back when I... See, I wore braces, so back when I had to wear braces, that was kind of a, kind of a go-to thing. Right? That was a... Hey, you know, we're up we're up in one of the big cities near our area. And so why... So let's go ahead and have that. It's gonna taste good. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next sheriff? I'm still looking. I do thank you so kindly for your efforts. Do you think Prim Slim could be sheriff? Well, I reckon he could be a sheriff if you have the skills to reprogram him. Uh, see, uh, I, I, I suddenly have something I really need to do. I'll see you later. But anyway, so we walk into this the steak and shake, and uh, I, it was one of the saddest experiences I've ever seen, and not to, not to rip. Uh, rip on Steak and Shake or anything. I, I do like their food. But going in there and there's no there there's no wait staff. It's one of those you order at a kiosk and you go sit down. The only people there are in the kitchen. And then they've changed their drink their their drinking fountain or their machine to get pop soda if you're on the east coast or whatever call in different countries and that sort of thing but it they have QR scanners for I mean you have to scan QR code just to just to be able to use the pop machine so we order our food we go and then we're trying to use the pop machine so, and my dad asks one of the one of the, the cooks and he's like yeah uh yeah look for the QR codes on the receipt they got printed out honestly it's one of the, the stupidest things ever I, I, I hate this system you know something along those lines so I mean that, that bodes well when the person's saying that right and then you know it's just have you gotten my pardon from the NCR yet? Where should I go to get your pardon? There's an NCR camp down there on the southern border of Nevada. Camp Mojave, I think. Try to find someone of authority there. All right, goodbye then. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, so then we're sitting there and, you know, our food takes a little bit to get there. And then they call out your name and you go get it. We're, we're sitting there eating, and, you know, the restaurant's pretty empty. And it's just afternoon, so you'd think there'd be quite a few people. Or at least, you know, a few others. There were only two other couples in that restaurant. And my comment on all of this was, 
This is one of the saddest things I have ever seen. You know, it, it feels very impersonal. There, like, there, there's nobody there to help, you know, with food and that sort of thing. And it doesn't really, it doesn't make me want to go there again. And see, I, I, I feel, I feel bad for the people in the kitchen there. You know? I feel bad for him. Boom! Yeet! We'll get him eventually. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot. Bye. <laughs> But yeah, so that happened. And yeah, what I think what I think happened was and it, I this might be a bit of a hot take. I don't know, but it might have had something to do with the increased wages or that sort of thing or because of how bad inflation is. Price, prices were raised so badly. But there just were not any employees there. And, yeah, so I, I said, you know, this is one of the saddest things I've ever seen, but then I also said, you know, this is actually what the future looks like, people. I mean, I mean, I, I guess it is somewhat nice to be able to go to go somewhere and have the convenience of just being able to go through the drive-thru or order order online or that sort of thing or order at a kiosk and not have to deal with people but at the same time it, it's a real bad look it, it's just I didn't I did not enjoy the experience there Speaking of not enjoying the experience, boom! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! You know, I just whipped this thing out because I'm like, oh, this is this is gonna be fun, right? And boy, is it ever fun! Oh, this thing! This thing packs a punch! Okay, yeah, so that was food experience from this weekend. But then I have another story that actually applies to food. It, this one's a little bit better. It's not such a downer. Uh, so my parents like to go to what they lovingly refer to as Mennonite Walmart. And what I mean by that is there's a place about an hour and a half an hour and a half from where we live, where, you know, it, it's an entire city block on one side, just a string of stores run by Mennonite community down there. And, oh gosh, I forgot there were people in there. It has a whole bunch of stuff, pretty much anything you can think of. Well, not, not anything you can think of, but they do have a lot. They, they have quite a bit there. Well, for the past three years, there was an item that we first found down there that we were not able to find anywhere, anywhere else or we couldn't find again. Or at least not that particular variety. But there are these uh, pretzels covered in key lime yogurt that I really like that we first got down there but couldn't find again. Well, finally, they had those. They finally had those. So, 
I, I get home from work one day, which is why I can't have any sort of decent uh, recording schedule or anything like that. Why it takes so long for me to get, you know, record content. Because I'm, I have a full-time job. Outside of this. Well, I get home from work one day, and they're just getting... They're just getting back from this place, right? And I'm like, I, I see these boxes of these key lime pretzels. They they got three of them, half pound boxes each. And they're like, yeah, they, they finally had these. So we, we decided we'd stock up. So just a whole bunch of these key lime yogurt pretzels. Fantastic. Like, they're just they're just great. But then also with with my full time job, Fridays are work from home days. Right? Well I get a little hungry during work sometimes, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to that. You know, that's a, that's a very relatable thing. Well, my mom my mom's like, why don't you just take a uh, box of those key lime pretzels in with you while you work after lunch? And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. Well, it turns out, uh, by the end of the work shift, I had nearly the entire box. And not only did I do that once, I did that again. I I did that two weeks in a row. So I'm two of those boxes are pretty much gone because I just couldn't help myself. They they were too good. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah. So that that's what's going on with me. I. Yeah. I just eat way too many way too many key lime pretzels because they taste good. They taste way too good to not do that. And you know, I'm sure other people can relate to that, right? You know, hey, I know I've been asking you guys to put a lot of stuff down in the comments. Write something down in the comment section on you know Comment on what it is your favorite go-to snack is. Or what's your favorite guilty pleasure food that you're like, I can have way too much of this while I'm sitting there and working. You know what I mean? Yeah, go go ahead and put that down there. I, I'm, curi I'm curious to see what you guys have to say on that, and, you know, mad respect for it. <laughs> okay, I, I just remembered another story that happened from this past weekend, by the way. I know, quick transition, right? We're talking about food, and then it's like, oh, there's a funny story. This one didn't have anything to do with food, but man, man, it was unfortunate for who it happened to. So, oh, okay, whew, that wasn't a landmine. My fiancé and I, after lunch at the Italian restaurant, we went for a, a nice little walk outside. It was just a fantastic day. You know, upper 60s, a little bit of a breeze, walking alongside the water. It was just perfect. Well, we get done with the walk, and and mind you, this was by a by a park that we were doing this. So, we're walking back, and we're walking by the basketball court, and there are these two probably, oh, guys in, say, they're, you know, between the ages of 18 and 21, right? And it looks like they're about to be playing basketball. Well, one of them, who's holding the ball, he, he's kind of dribbling it in the parking lot area next to the park near the basketball court. And he decides that he's going to bounce it and catch it, right? Well, you know you know those times when your aim is just too good, so good that it's terrible? 
he bounces it off the curb. It rebounds and hits him in the family jewels. I kid you not. It was Coming unfortunate. Must be crazy to brave those roads. What is this place? Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Thank you kindly. Any work around here that I might find? Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight. He can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Now, I noticed those statues uh, walking up here. <sighs> I, I don't remember. I don't remember what they stand for. What's that all about? What are those statues of? Those two? Represents unification. Mostly good for shade. Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. Fair point. I'll be going now. Thank you. Watch yourself. Watch out! Yeah, so anyway... Yeah, the, the guy nails himself in the family jewels with this basketball. And my fiancé and I are just... You know, we're... We're doing the best we can to contain our laughter until we get back in my car. And then once we get in the car, the floodgates just open. And we're, <laughs> we're, we're just laughing and, oh, it, it was so good. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Courier. Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. We're well, mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. I need repairs. Alright then, just sign here, here, and here. <sighs> okay, there I Ooh, wow, there's cost. Well, of course there's going to be cost. You know, actually, I don't think I actually really need repairs. It just might have been... Oh, boy, that's expensive. It might have been nice. Uh, ooh, you know what? Old cowboy hat. And... Oh, boy, where is it? Oh, it's not going to be on this list. The, the gambler's hat, I think that thing is just gone. So, uh, who are you? Me? I'm Knight. Major Knight. I've been stuck here dealing with these caravans for ages now, but somebody's got to do it. Knight, Major Knight? You mean like, uh, Bond? James Bond? Oh. That, that too old of a reference for you? Sorry about that. Not exciting enough for you. Huh? That ain't so bad. If Caesar's Legion decides to push west through Nipton, old Mojave outpost here will be the front line. Well, what can you tell me about the outpost? NCR border guard duty, mostly. It's our job to make sure the caravans can move safely along I-15 and Highway 95. Not the best posting or assignment, but it beats being sent east or patrolling the Colorado. Legion's pretty thick there. Hey, I'd like to talk to you about Prim, actually. Prim? A's units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Well, uh, look, Prim's seen better days. I think it has. Agree. It was a promising trade town before the escape at the correctional facility. Lost a good bit of money at the Vicky and Vance. Well, okay. About Prim. Prim. One of the convicts, one of the convicts from NCRCF, is looking for a pardon so we can protect Prim. He's not one of the Powder Gang sort. Seems to have a moral compass, which surprised you lasted this long. One of the powder gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? 
His sentence was almost up, and he isn't tied to the powder gangers. In fact, see, I broke into said prison, took out the powder gangers, and talked to him. He's actually on his sword. He understood why it was there. He was willing to serve his sentence. Uh, all right. If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there owes us a favor. That couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt at all. Hey, uh, anything I can do to help around here while I'm here? Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Thank you kindly. Goodbye. Sir. Alright, uh... Hello. Oh, help. Hello. Uh... Let's see here. Now, there's a particular place I'm wanting to go to that's in this complex. I forget exactly how to get there. Is it, uh... Well, this is barracks here. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Do not go quietly into that good night. Good mentality to have. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, where's it at? Because, guy mentioned something about a bar, right? It's, it's this place back here. Outpost Barracks. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Uh, is there any work around here you know of? Work around here? Might check with Jackson in the main building, or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. Yikes. Don't tell her <laughs> I said that, though. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the latrine. Anything you can tell me about this outpost? Not too much. A lot of caravans going nowhere. A lot of troopers going nowhere, too. A few prospectors here and there, but... They don't do more than stink up the place. Everybody's backed up here. You'd think it'd be good for business, but most of the traders are tight with the caps. Even the larger caravan outfits. Uh, what do you have for trade? Take a look. Ooh, 556 five, pistol GRA. Way too expensive, though. GRA. Does that mean that it has like a weapon skin on it? Or no, no, that probably means, uh. That probably means a DLC. Laser pistol. Plasma pistol. You know, this stuff's fun, but I. I can't really. Afford it that well. Blade. Oh, Death Claw Gauntlet? Bladed Gauntlet? Oh. Ooh, that, that's really good. Doctor's bag. Purified. Actually, you know what? I'm in the business to sell, I think. Yeah. Let's make some currency. And then I do need to sell some things that are weighing me down. But I have a lot. I have, I have so many things that are just fun to use. These things, I don't think I'm really going to use, and they're worth a lot of money. The Incinerator, I want to hang on to that, because that's fun. But here's the thing. I don't... This game, I don't remember if there's a place that you can really technically call home. At least, not that I know of. Also, throwing spears, are we really actually going to use these? Pfft. Uh... Lightweight metal armor. Oh, that's something we've had since the uh, beginning of the game, right? That weighs 20. Uh, does have a lot of armor, but I do prefer the lightweight because I don't, I don't want to have an agility drop. 9:36. Uh, the suave gambler hat. That thing's done for. Goggles helmet. I don't think we're gonna be using that much. Okay. How can we fleece this person out of 31 more caps? 
Atomic Cocktail. And... Cat Eye. Okay, seven more. We can do this. We can do this. Uh... Oh, boy. Uh, no, I want to keep the whiskey for now. I, I do have a use for that. Not selling the sarsaparilla. Hmm. Fred... I... Okay. What's worth one cap that we can... There we go. There we go. Boom! Now, if I wanted to... No, I... Never mind. Can't even do that. That's fine. Thank you for your business. <laughs> uh, I don't want to play Caravan right now. That that seems like something for a much later date. Never mind. I'll be going now. Fine, then. Hey, miss... Looking for trouble? No, no, only uh, looking around. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. How about a drink instead? How about a drink? How about a couple is what you mean. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. What are you trying to forget? Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. Why would they do that? My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need Yikes. a scribe to tell me that. You know, I've heard uh, Jackson's name thrown around several times. Who is he and where can I find him? NCR officer, trooper, whatever. Runs the place. He's over in the main building, the one without a bar. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. Well, I wanted to ask you something else. What's on your mind? Uh, anything you can tell me about the outpost itself. You're looking at it. It's a watering hole without much to brag about. It's like a Brahmin drive gone wrong. Supposed to be a gate north, but you come here, you get caught in the pen. Better to head back home. If you don't have a gun and a will, don't matter much what you do when you reach here, except stare at that fucking monument outside. That effing monument, huh? Don't even tell me you missed it coming in. It's like NCR showing its dick to all the east. If the Republic put as much effort into protecting the East as they put into those two asinine giants outside, then they'd be worth that monument. Statues of two men shaking hands covered in blood. Don't seem to be nothing to brag about. Wait. You must have better eyes than I do. Either that or... My head's in a spin these last few days. Covered in blood, he said. I'm speaking figurative. Isn't any blood on their damn hands. Of course, when Caesar comes walking through here, there'll be blood for real. And after the blood dries in the sun, he'll melt that piece of jet-induced sculpture down and reshape it into a bull. Which, by my reckoning, is making up for a deficiency of his. But no matter what the state of his pecker, he's sure giving the West a good fucking. So what are those statues supposed to be, then? One's a ranger, one's an NCR trooper, supposed to represent unification of West and East, or some such shit. As far as those two iron lovebirds go, they've got more spine you'll see in a year from the NCR government. Well, sure nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, you know, in case we run into each other again, um, I was thinking about looking into the Crimson Caravan. 
got somebody else that works for him that uh, told me to stop on by, so I think I might just do that. I'll look into it for you. You take care now. You as well. Don't drown too many of your sorrows out. Huh? Morning. Well, don't drown in sorrow either. Don't, don't drown them at all. And that right there is one of the best NPCs in Fallout New Vegas. Cass. She's seen a lot. But let's go, uh, let's go find this Jackson. Wait. It looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry. Only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Look, hey, I, I'm sorry to corner you in the bathroom like this. Uh, finally ran into you. Uh, you, sh you sure seem like you have enough soldiers up here. Soldiers, no. Recruits, yes. And the Mojave outpost has been ordered to have a standing force at the NCR perimeter at all times. So sending anyone out reduces the outpost's numbers and would be in direct violation of my orders from back west. So is uh, NCR sending more troops? Sending more troops, yes. To reinforce the outpost, no. Troops head through here on their way to McCarran or to the front lines of Forlorn Hope. Or they're on leave on their way to New Vegas to piss away their pay. All of them passing through. You sound frustrated. Frustrated? No, I have my orders. Signed and approved all the way up the chain from Kimball. And I understand the reasons. The outpost isn't a legion target, yet. Not like Vegas or the Dam. But if the caravans get choked here, that's gonna bite NCR hard. Anyway, didn't mean to talk your ear off. Some days, just feel like more requisition forms and daily reports come across my desk than results. Well, in any way I can help you out in any of this. Help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Sounds like a deal. Well, before I shake on it, I'd like to know the details, but you know, I'm, I'm really leaning towards it if the pay's right. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Sounds good. Thank you. Alright. Hey, a pretty successful venture up here, you know? We're making moves, we're making money moves, we're making uh, some business propositions. I like it, I like it, we're going places. And now about that sheriff. Hey, Myers. Thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. Well, bye then. Watch yourself out there. You as well, my friend. Okay, okay. Once again, the level up screen. Oh. Yikes. Okay, I feel like science... Science is definitely going to be a helpful one, based upon what we're seeing. I'm going to kick that up to 30. But then we have another extra point that we can put into things. Uh, let's put that into guns for now. I mean, why not? Boom. Okay. Hey, that was a good quest to get done there. Okay. Ivan Paul Lake, clear out the critters on the road. Heartache by the number. Crimson Caravan, they went that away. We're still, uh, well, we need to head to Novak. Sierra Madre, oh, that's just, uh, then that's DLC stuff. I mean, we, we have to follow, they went that away. Still, right? I just want to see what direction Novak is in from here. So it's down there. Well, that's that's Nipton. It's Nipton it has us going to. What about uh, can you find it in your heart? Where's that take us? Well, we have to head that way anyway, so might as well. 
Oh, yeah. Boy, it's been... Hey, it's been a productive episode, you know? We're getting stuff done. Hey, sorry to see somebody drowning in their sorrows. And then drowning their sorrows with, uh... Alcohol, hoping that it's going to drown their sorrows, and then it doesn't. I, I feel bad for her, you know? Every single time I play this. Every single time. Like I said, though, she, she has an interesting perspective on the wasteland. She really does. One of the best NPCs. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, yep. I mean, it's about equidistant, but I think we have to go back to the outpost on this. That's They want us to clear out the rad scorpions. I forgot that's what that was. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yikes. I feel like for this, though, if I can get on top of a vehicle, have a better chance of being able to take him out. Uh, you know what, actually? We have a silenced 22, which, while it doesn't do a, a lot of damage, does bonus critical damage and bonus critical chance. I... You know what, I don't think it's going to be too useful now. We probably need to have that repaired at the front desk of Mojave Outpost. Which is doable. That's absolutely doable. scorpions, huh? <laughs> Boom! Take that, you giant bug! Poison glands. Ooh! Those sell well. Is there another one out here? If so, how'd it see me? Man, is this a uh, banana yucca? One yuck to rule them all! See it, chump. Anytime I play this or Seven Days to Die and I pick a yucca plant, I just have to say one yuck to rule them all. It's... Wait a minute. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be the rad scorpions we have to deal with. <sighs> Wonder if explosives will help with it. With this venture. Well, we'll need to see what we can see, I suppose. Oh! No, those are giant worker ants. Which are on which are terrifying in their own right, but we can deal with this. We can deal with this. Uh oh. Take that, you giant bug. Oh, it's still rapidly approaching. Ah, uh, it's getting close. Oh, so is that TNT. Now that I think about it. Dun 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 dun. Nice! Ant egg, nice. Some meat, some nectar. Mm -hmm. 
See you, chump. How'd I miss that many times? Yikes. That's just sad. Sad me. You'd think you'd have a better aim, but no, no, you don't. Now, wh where is this guy? I don't like to put myself in a position for a pincer maneuver, but... No, he... Oh, got himself stuck. Yeah, you're not even supposed to be in there, guy. Oh, man. Yikes. Some guys, some people just decide they need to think outside the box. Sometimes they take it too far. He was one of them. Take that! And that- oh, 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 oh! Woo! Oh, wait, there we go. Hey, I've stomped 30 bugs so far. Nice! Hey, let's go uh, report some success, right? Jackson will be pleased, or about it from the story, he's about as pleased as uh, Jackson can get. Which will be nice. I mean, I have to think of it this way. NCR, I mean, the new Vegas area is kind of being held in what, in a little bit of martial law, right? Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Hey, you, uh, you mentioned a reward before. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go, just between us. You should be here. Thank you kindly. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, oh, so much good stuff. Weapon repair kits, 100 caps. Oh, this guy. Oh, he, the, the best. Service rifle. Oh, with armor piercing rounds. Good DPS. Oh, man. That guy's fantastic. Coming in clutch. Uh, yeah. Let's. Hey, let's get back to it. We've got, we've got uh, some would-be killers to catch. Also, the music just got really ominous, and I don't know why. Stash box, huh? Yeah, so next place we need to head to is Novak, which is just down the road. Well, I... Oh, gosh. Well, you know what? I'm glad they got those, those rad scorpions taken out. And actually, can I talk to these guys? Hey there. Need anything? Maybe. I would like to see your wares. Peruse them. Sure. Bit. Here's what I got. I mean, we already sold our currency, right? So do we have... Oh, do we have anything here that is worth selling right now? <sighs> I mean, that would be fun for DPS, but I think we can sell that. Not sure on some of that stuff. Some of the miscellaneous... Yeah. Cigarettes. Some cherry bombs. Okay. 
Uh, some egg timers. Empty bottles that are taken up. Some carry weight. Gecko egg. Gecko hides, which do take up carry weight, apparently. Yeah, get rid of that iron, because that is taking up some carry weight. I don't want to get rid of too much carry weight, though. I don't want to go overboard with that, otherwise we will see a big stat drop. Oh, some pre-war money? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. Hey, thank you kindly. Okay. Carry weight. Fantastic position. You like that? Boom! Critical strike. It's already done for. Ooh. Actually, these... Hold up, wait a minute. I have more to sell to you. Hey there. Need anything? Yeah, I, uh... Hey. I was wondering if you might want some of these. Don't know if they're gonna do you any good, but... I mean, you probably know more than I do about these things. Let's see. Rad, scorpion, poison glands. Here we go. Alright then. Very nice. Very nice, that. It's nice to have some caps. Some caps that we can utilize. I mean, this game is New Vegas. Uh, we're gonna need them at some point, right? Oh, the music just gets terrifying every single time. Oh. Ooh. Well, that's one uh, mighty big rad scorpion here. Oh, it's frenzied. That's not good. Uh, what do we use here? What do we use? Hey, I'm being careful. You can trust me. Just have to take him out with a little bit of precision is all. Already down to 21 shots in this thing. Ah, you know it was fun while it lasted. That was fun while it lasted on that. But we're gonna have to go back to the varmint rifle, I think. Little old racetrack looks like. Jalapeno, jalapeno, hala hala jalapeno. Boom! 40 bugs stomped. Take that, you big bugs.
Looks like an old uh, go-kart track or something. Just out here in the desert. Nice. Oh, we're so close to another level up. We we are almost there. Almost there. Oh. That sounds horrific behind me. I'm only down to 13 shots on this thing, too. What the... I don't even want to know what you were doing there, Edward, okay? I don't... I don't need to know. 15 points to assign. I think we want to get repair up to 30 as well here, and then assign these three into, say... energy weapons. We'll get that up to 20. And then, yeah, we can take... We can take a perk. So, toughness, you gain a plus 3 to overall damage threshold. This perk may be taken twice with the second rank. Also grant an additional lead belly. You take 50% less radiation. Gunslinger, using a pistol. One-handed weapon, your accuracy in vats is significantly increased. Fortune finder, you'll find considerably more bottle caps. Bloody mess. Characters and creatures you kill will often explode into a red Gut ridden eyeball strewn paste. Fun! <laughs> oh, and you'll do 5% extra damage with all weapons. Hmm. Mm. Comprehension is nice. Or we take Swift Learner, which we get more XP. I'm going to take Swift Learner. That. Swift Learner early on is just. It's one of the best ones you can take. Just hands down. Take, take that and run with it. But anyway, uh, looks like we're coming up on the town here. What was it called? Uh, Nipton? Yeah. Well, looks like there's camp over here. Though. Oh. Bit of a shootout going on. Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Any idea why? No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago, and she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Lucky Charm Necklace. You pull my leg or something. Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. <sighs> Just be more careful in the future, okay? Actually, wait. Can I... I will. That's the last time I pick up a straggler on the road, believe me. Uh This day just... This day just can't... That doesn't belong to you! Hey, I... I hey, 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 hey! Oh, hey, hey, oh, oh! Hey, I didn't want to cause trouble, I just wanted them, but you know what? It's fine, he caught me. See... Not having a high enough speech skill, but you have to be this or... Oh, gosh. You know, I think this is a good place to uh, stop this episode. We're getting to about that time that I usually wrap these things up, and, well, it kind of looks like uh, this place is in shambles and ruins. We'll see what that's all about next time. 
But until then, I'm the Nerdy Librarian. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Check out my channel for other content. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.